I told you that between the two of us, be able to roast the shit out of the show and have fun. You are correct. Yep. So actually, what in the fuck did they change those signs that clearly were originally in Japanese too? Uh, actually, I thought the bottom left wasn't Japanese. No, that's just drawings or symbols or whatever. The I miss De uh, December Wolf and September whatever the fuck all the signs in Neo Domino City. Oh god, yeah, the, I miss those. Those were fun. <sighs> there are things more powerful than re really. <laughs> Yes, there there are. It's called Exodia. Why do you sound so mad about that? <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah. Don't let revenge consume you. It's no. Don't do it. Don't duel for revenge. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads <clears throat> to suffering. <clears throat> no. See, I could talk to the little, the little green Muppet on the planet, or I could talk to a fucking Palpatine, and be like, no! <laughs> uh, I will forever love episode three. Like, <laughs> I, will, I will never deny that. I absolutely love episode three. Episode three is a good movie. Episode three is a fantastic movie, yeah. So what you feel about the other two? Episode three is a great movie. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that, that was the one that really clinched Taylor as a Star Wars fan, really. <laughs> did you start in order, or did you start in release order? Or... Actual order, order. So oh. we start. We start with Phantom Menace. The only place you can go is up. Yes. In fact, that was the only. That was how. Literally, what only went up. And you argue with me when I say the best place to start with Fate Stay Night is to start at Fate Stay Night. See, I think that when you start with Fate Zero, though, you get a quality thing, and then you start numerically as well. Okay, but you literally <laughs> just said we started with Phantom Menace, so, so that the only place we could go was up. I like. Yes. But I like to start people with something of quality. Okay, and let me put Phantom it to you. Menace, outside of the really, really bad acting, is not a bad movie. Let me put it to you this way then: How would you tell someone to start Kingdom Hearts? I would tell them to not start Kingdom Hearts because Kingdom Hearts is really, really bad with trying to follow. Exactly. So are most things. If you had to, I would probably tell them to start with the first. Like, actual first, because the first one is still good. In fact, I would say the first one is still one of the best ones. <laughs> Take it for you will. Better, better than... I'm proud that you were my teacher. Goodbye, Kite. <laughs> yeah, there it was. Yep. <sighs> that was fun. Swimming with sharks. Can we be any more forward about this? <laughs> Alright, so a couple more, then we ha we'll probably have our first break. Five. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about like cutting the recording when we get to that point, and then export the footage to my hard drive so that we have the space. I think we'll be fine. I'll probably like a uh, 20 minute break or something. Okay, uh, this shit. This will be fun. This is the part where you find out that uh, when uh, that when Reggie and Rio were in an amusement park, four lit that amusement oh, park. Oh, wow, that's fast. Four lit that amusement park on fire <laughs> with Rio in it, and so burned her so badly she almost died. Oh wow! Okay. He almost murdered his sister. Um. Wow. That's. I would not put it past a man with that kind of face. But holy fucking shit! Okay. Huh. Also, you know, I'm gonna be totally honest about something. I actually kind of like the the tattoo uh, eye scatter thing. The tattoo ones instead of the actual visor. Yeah, I actually think the tattoo looks pretty good on them. I, I actually looks, think it looks pretty cool. <sighs> gimmick puppets. Oh yeah, I've heard endless things about gimmick puppets, my friend. This is not good. Uh, not I can't even do anything. I have a dead hand, like a complete dead hand. Restart. Oh, I want to see. Just do it. If I can't get anything going in the next try, I will, I will scoop. I want to see if I can pull us back or need this. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's a start. I can at least shut his uh, gimmicks down a little bit. Well, at least he can't X these. Or maybe he can. Yes, he can. Oh, wow. That's level 8. What well, level 8 is he going to pull up? Please be, don't be bullshit. <laughs> Gimmick Puppet of Strings. That's a 3,000 attack. Mmm, this will hurt, but 
Yeah, if the next turn I don't draw anything I can really use. Oh my god. If I pull something that can let me use instant fusion, I've, I'm gonna hang on by. Nope. Mm, don't. Nah, yeah, I'll be too slow. You're right. It'll be too slow to hang in there. Okay. Try it again. <laughs> Rare I get a bad hand with the the Cyber Dragon Infinity deck. That never happens. Strange. Alright. Alright, you choose. Okay. Uh well, you're not gonna get too much out of it. If I pull Infinity first turn, I will be able to negate everything. There we fucking go. No, you oh, don't. Nah, actually no, you're right, fuck. But you got pot. I got pot. I I have something to defend myself with which also. Mmm I have defense. That's a good start. If I make yeah. it last a turn, I can make this work. Set both traps. Actually, yeah, you're right. I'm going to. If I can pull one monster, I can make. I can immediately get an infinity. I, uh, so far, he hasn't negated every anything. Or I don't know how he would on your first turn. No, I mean, no, the last duel. He didn't. He didn't have anything that can negate uh, magic or trap cards. Oh no, he doesn't have any defensive cards. There we go. Just Killed it. his own normal summon, and good. <laughs> Alright, sure. <laughs> Why not? Wait. Actually, no, it's still fine. I forgot you could do that. That's okay, that's okay. Oh man, we're going old school. Alright. <laughs> Two Cyber Dragons in the graveyard. This isn't going to be perfect, but I can make this work. But <laughs> Pull up another one in the hand. Again, not perfect. But something's on the field. Alright, if he tries attacking me, I have a uh, Quaking Mirror Force at least. <sighs> if I draw one decent thing, that would work. Hmm. Ah, yes, he's going. No, uh, yeah. Okay. Easy. 3,000. He's probably going to 3,000 attack pointing again. I didn't actually look at what that ability is. I have no idea what it is. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Alright. In there! There we go. Alright. Also, I love how when they're face down, you can still tell there are fucking X's. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Well, actually, no. Sure. You can write, write Geki first. Yes. So the reason I send dry to the graveyard is because if I draw in uh, a repair plant, I'll have three cyber dragons in my graveyard, which will be perfect. Right, Geki, and everything's in the graveyard, and hopefully they will <laughs> stay there. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we're back in the saddle. Yep. Now we're getting into the swing of things. Carve the Ark of Victory. <laughs> Wait, no, Nova has this one ability to actually. Uh, you can banish one. Theoretically, that ability is actually not too bad, but you never use it for that. You always use it for control with infinity. Yep. No one's not that awful, though. No, of course not. I just love how it took until uh, XCs for uh, Cyber Dragons to really become good. I think these actually were released in the Pendulum Era. But then again, literally everything was released in the Pendulum Era. You can attack. I know. You're not wrong about that. Alright, now no matter what he tries, I will have a good amount of opportunities to completely negate him. And would you believe Quasar can negate one thing per turn for completely free? Yup. Love that card. No, uh, core. Oh ho ho. Good for you. Barely got in there. Alright. Actually, wait, I can just. Yeah. We can take it down every any number of ways. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. If I wanted to have less fun, I could have also said that you could have just had... <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. They all get away from their mind control when they lose. Oh. oh they're... Not, or not mind control, rather. They just stop being as big of a douche. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that's how things usually go in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. <sighs> Life got... Uh, having marrow problems? Duel. Should be okay. <laughs> More or less, yeah. Also, hit shark. Uh, fucking Nash's eyes are just way too fucking large here. My god. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they all are, but yeah. Yeah. What is that light blue thing in his hair? N some dumb crown thing, I have no idea. <laughs> Considering what's to come, probably works, but no. No thanks. <sighs> Retrix Fortune is a powerful card. <laughs> My d uh, daddy made me use a card so powerful it lit your sister on fire. <laughs> okay. Before, well, hmm. before the power of solid vision. And after the psychics that were introduced in 5Ds. What, what, did, what, what did Zexel pull You're to... Not, if you have a number, you are granted a, an actual power, and that power makes dueling real. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> they need an excuse every time. They do, yes. The excuse in Brains is that you're in VR, and because Sword Art Online happened... We can have we can have your VR or whatever happens to you in VR affect you in real life. So when Blue Angel gets uh, hit, gets as an AI program gets hit with a virus, where we decided that we're just gonna have her go into a coma. Huh. All so right. she, so she'll never wake up unless you mm -hmm. give her the antidote inside this video game. Her body will never wake up from a coma. Why'd you make Straw online and have everyone do these death matches? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Why do you refer to your father in the third person? <laughs> Bring my real father back. Yeah, that, you mean, uh, besides having a galaxy on his face, that would be pretty good. Oh, wow, we're doing this. <laughs> Rockin' and rollin'. Okay, okay, I remember him, actually him getting mind control here, didn't he? That happens later. Okay. You know... Thought I heard something out there, whatever. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I read that the I read that a second ago. I thought it said Rickin and Rollin. God damn it. Uh. You uh you must now facing Nistro in the World Duel Carnival. <laughs> now, this is one of those things that you don't see. But previously, before this match, Nistro actually beat up Nelson. Do you remember who Nelson is? No, I do not. That's because his dub name is stupid. <laughs> that would be the Sparrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Esper Robin. Yeah. He was here. We don't get to see it in this game. Okay. But apparently he did pretty well until Nistro beat him. Oh, uh, okay. Which is meant to be a symbol that Nistro is actually really strong. Which, for the most part, is correct. That's... Well, I mean, considering the... As a member of security. Considering the fucking deck he runs, yeah, kind of. Uh, I vaguely remember his deck. It was, either, it was either the hands or it was a boxing deck. No, boxing comes later. I think he uses Fire Fist. That was it. Uh, fucking Fire Fist kicks my ass so much. Dumb boys! <laughs> Dumb is nuts. <laughs> I just like how he actually has a blue outline, despite the fact that he has it against a red background. Yeah. Looks, looks scarish. Oh, your Senju's. Oh, this would be interesting. I need yeah. to eventually make this deck, actually. Yeah. I think I kind of need to make more Pendulum decks in general. That'd be good. Yeah. But again, I actually don't know of many actual Pendulum decks besides Cat Strippers and this. Not terribly, no. <sighs> This is a deck that never wants to go first. Hm. What in the shit? Huh. Okay, he's got fire spice as well. Interesting. I think he took some of her cards from her when she was disqualified. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember you. You were fun. Hm. That's why. That's okay. I can deal with that. No problem. Well, you're still alive, and you, you were able to go next, so that's a good start. Well, I got two pendulums. No, I don't. But that's okay, because believe me, I have a plan. Swarm? Yes, but this plan's actually gonna do something. I'm just worried if uh, Excalibur actually has his attack locked at 4,000. I don't think it would, but I'm just concerned. Still going. Let's go. Fucking love how easy it is to drop every. Oh my god, there's a lot here. Got some Mexi's options. Why would I do that when I can do this? 
Hmm. You cock. <laughs> oh boy. You cock. You're indestructible, unfortunately. Bleh. How did I lose life points? Because the attack, the, the thing you attacked with was 1600 and it's 1700. No, it, no I didn't. I you oh. swung, no, you swung with the far left. Huh. You can't attack it, but I don't think... Okay. <laughs> hmm. Did you hear that too? I heard as well. One of the hiding spots of that uh, that the smaller dog likes is actually right outside this window. <laughs> okay. Alright, how are you gonna pull- what are you gonna do? You're giving him options to... Exe something. If I'm lucky, he won't be able to. Hmm. You usually have like a game plan for when your opponent's attacking and all your things are called back. Normally, I have some back row. Mm. This is annoying. He's gonna win. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Man. Artoria hits hard. <laughs> Uh, Let's give that one a whirl. Let's try this again, but bad. Ah, uh, level cards. I still like the design for the arm dragon cards, but I fucking hate their effects. Ye. Yeah. Seriously, if you could just drop arm dragon level 3 and immediately go to level 5, you'd be fine, but no. Nope, we can't have nice things, can we? Nope. Because... This is a great start. Mm, yeah. It, yeah. I'm also going second. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a good yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Wonder if he's able to drop all of them at once. Nope. Okay. Why am I suspecting Balmas Chapel for some reason? Nah, I'm probably being paranoid. Yes. It's very my field of work. I need to be paranoid. <laughs> Oh, that's that's Halfway good. Halfway there. Well, you got stuff. Uh. <coughs> Bless you. No bow phase? I actually ended up hitting the button by accident. Oh, shit. But that's fine. You can still normal some. Oh, mm. I don't want to. But that's okay. But you're gonna discard a lot of shit in the next turn, <laughs> or at the end of this. Mm. Well, at least you're back down to six. I thought the original legal limit for cards you could hold was five. It was originally seven. Jeez. Seven cards. My god. <laughs> uh. That might make Slifer somewhat viable, question mark. Probably not. You got a swing? He can't. All right, one day apiece. Bye. Even better. Could you do the same thing with one of your your your, your Senju cards? Yes, but it, but that puts it back into the extra deck, so he can remake it. Oh right. And that was the problem I did I suffered last time. Well, he has at least no. I, I actually think he has multiple of those in there. Even so, it's one less than he could have used before. Eh, I guess so. At least after this turn, you're able to use one day apiece and keep him from attacking you when everything's gone. Yep. Oh boy. Actually, no, you can't. Can't you whisk away the uh, call the haunted? Well, you'll, you won't be able to attack anymore, but it'll be gone. You don't actually want to do that because call. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on, when this card leaves the field. Okay. Yeah. The pro you, ha you have a point, though, because when it's back in the hand, you can reset it. No, it goes back to the graveyard. Come on, give me my other pendulum. <laughs> <sighs> well, we're still in there, at least. Tied. We're still in there. Oh, my God. Okay. I can, I can do it again. It's just, this is annoying. And now he's got two call on the field. That's rough. 
No, it's the same call. Alright, we're getting closer. Mm. <laughs> well, you can take over the field. Oh, wait, what? Isn't one of them able to uh, boost the attack of the others? Yep. Alright. It's fucking free swarming ability, my god. Yep. And they're all just counted as normal summons, so he can't use any abilities that would negate a special summon. So are these summons considered... Do, do they need to be summoned, like, in ascending order, like, 1, then 2, then 3? Or can you just, like, summon anyone from your hand? Anyone. That's... tits. My god. <laughs> uh, I would just be very careful, though, because of that... Those various face downs. I'm just gonna guess that you have the option of going to Silent on an Arc or Castile. Oh, I should probably talk about that. Some of the fucking uh, level 4 Xyz monsters you can do are fucking insane. And it's great. Yeah, I knew that was the one from his hand. I didn't actually know he had two. He does, yeah. You can still attack him with the 2800 and take it out, though. Uh, okay. Yes. So. Uh, for those who are maybe trying to make an Xyz deck, or if you have a bunch of level 4s in your deck and you don't know what to do with them, there's generally like one of, th like, three different Xyz cards of level 4 that, oh my god, that you can use that will actually be really good, uh, that you can just fl splash in everywhere. Actually, no, 4. So, you've probably seen us use them a lot. Uh, Silent Honor Arc, of course, Gaga Gaga Cowboy, Damn it. Castile, and there's one more. I had another one. Uh, no. Castile, Cowboy, uh, Silent on Arc. There's one more. What the hell is that? Yeah, whatever. But there's generally like a handful of really good cards you can flash in there where that are just like a Swiss Army knife and it's amazing. So, uh, some of those are limited. I know that for a fact. They're, um, well, they are, some of them have a, like a number or like a slot, a certain amount you can actually put in there, but Frankly, they're more meant for just like splashing and not meant for main running. So you can just go ahead and use those. All right. uh, do you have any intentions of using those pendulum cards? Yes. Okay. <sighs> hmm. You can't do anything. Luckily, not yet. At least New Shores doesn't have any fucking cards allowing him to special summon multiples at once. Actually, it looks like he just, outside of, like, the uh, Excalibur card, he doesn't have anything that is, like, a real archetype. God, I forgot about this. <laughs> now we're talking. I do like the designs of these pendulum cards, though. They're really cool. So you say that, but I actually want to summon them one at a time. Okay. Doesn't each one of those pendulum cards have individual effects, though? Yes. However... In order for in order for you send uh, you send training grounds to work, I need to actually have them be summoned one at a time. That's fine. A pendulum summon has all of them happen at the exact same time, so it only counts as one summon. Hmm. Well, at least you managed to draw a card. That's pretty good. Three. So, what's that ability on uh, you send your training ground uh, when you start getting a certain amount of counters on it? I know you can like uh, kill shit. Ooh, three kinds. Ooh, well, it's not bad. Could be better, but not too, not too terrible. This is when we do this. <laughs> do you still have an extra? Oh, shit! I forgot that's your Sanju. Oh wait, is that your Sanju card? Yes. Even though it's not listed on the name. My Sanju. Oh. <laughs> No one wants to be particular about that shit. Okay. <laughs> There's some cards, uh, I, I learned this through rank 10, of course, but there have been cards in the past that one released, uh, Konami fucked up with translations hard. Yep. And as a result, sir, the big one is Rainbow Dragon, actually. Yep. There, uh, for those not familiar with it, so Rainbow Dragon is the ultimate card of Crystal Beasts. Never fucking use it ever, please. I, impl I implore you. Um, where, usually with card effects and archetypes, they're, 
it lists like a certain car, like a part of a car name can only be put, like done like uh, target and any, any red eyes monster in your graveyard or some shit like that. There was a mistranslation. Um, it was either Rainbow Dragon or it was uh, one of two variants, but like a uh, dark Rainbow Dragon or like the one the Rainbow Dragon is above Rainbow Dragon. Or you know, that's the thing I just said. Um, I forget what the hell it was, but it was a thing that made it so it was unable to be affected by like by that card. And as a result, uh, because of the uh, skewed wording, yeah, I couldn't really do it at all. So, yeah, uh, Konami's a bunch of dumb executive uh, cunts. So, yeah, dumb. Anyway, that's just a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! history for you from back in the uh, mid to late GX era because they are fucking dumb. <laughs>